Welcome, Welcome to Friday Night Laser Disc and Chill with your boy Equip. Um, tonight we got some cool stuff going on. Uh, we got more laser discs to play, and this is probably the last of my um, non adult film laser discs. And unfortunately, I can't show such classics as uh, Temple of Poon on uh, twitch.com or YouTube. I think it's against the terms of service. So um, we're going to go with the last of my uh, clean laser discs. We've got um, Kitaro, The Light of the Spirit. Um, for those of you not in the know, Kitaro is like a Japanese, uh, you know, one, one man um, synth god. Uh, kind of new agey, kind of Tangerine Dream Berliner school. Um, yeah, it's great. So, uh, yeah, let me take a look at the chat here. We got Zodicus in the house. What up, Zodicus? Uh, MSS. Um, Elephantricity. Wow, I love that username. Uh, Freddy Yolo, howdy indeed. Uh, nice of you to drop by. Um, yeah, we got uh, Nagy Jemmy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, Molotovich, uh, Gabe Ray. Um, I'm a little quiet, huh? Let me let me try to boost my levels here and crank that fucking compressor. Oh, yeah, get it nice and compressed. Yeah, there's hardly any. Oh, yep, there's. Okay, there we go. How about that? I'm in the red now. That's a little bit better. All right, so I got, uh, I'm a little cozy here. Uh, I got a, a nice sweater on, a little turtleneck action. It's getting cold here in Chicago. I don't know about uh, your neck of the woods, but it got to like, it got to like 40 or something here today. So um, yeah, I got, I got one package to open before I get started. Uh, it was sent by our good friend, Lil Liam. Um, so yeah, let's get this open here. Uh, crack this open. Got my handy Milwaukee knife here. Nice fancy silver bubble wrap. Uh, I can't show the package because I don't want it to uh, to dox little Liam here. But uh, oh, sounds like a tape. Yeah, gotta love that sound. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's continue depackaging this. So yeah, my uh, my B day was mid August, but um, I know he sent it earlier than that. I just don't check the PO box very often. I'm gonna try to start checking it more often, but um, it's a hard promise to make because it's cold. God damn, it's 89 in LA. I'm so fucking jealous, Nagy Jemmy. Oh wow, this is incredible! Holy shit, it's a. Uh, a bootleg soundtrack for Neo Turf Masters. This is so fucking sick. Uh, Neo Turf Masters is my favorite golf game uh, for Neo Geo. You might remember I streamed it a while back. Oh my god, it's got full on LED printing. This is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. I, I'm only assuming this is a bootleg, but it's like just so well done. It, it's hard to believe it's not. It's a Neo Turf Master sticker. Oh my god. Got some magic cards. There's Pokemon cards in here too. Wow. So, so cool. Um, I don't think little Liam's in the chat, but uh, if uh, he comes by later, we will have to thank him again. Oh my god. The J card is so cool. This is amazing. I am just getting a huge kick out of this right now. So thank you. Huge thank you, little Liam. I love you. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's switch to the the laser disc mode. Okay, so I I got this all set up earlier so I wouldn't um, fuck it up like last time. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's unreliable. The laser disc player is very unreliable. So I hope that when I hit play, it just resumes like normal, and I hope that we get a healthy audio level because I am now realizing I neglected to check the audio level. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good here. Um, hello, Dot. I'm guessing that's your name. Or uh, apostrophe, I can't see from here. And uh, Mort uh, Hamet. Howdy indeed. Uh, welcome. Uh, who else we got? Super Penguino. And uh, 
Uh, Sefi Starshine, welcome Sefi, nice to have you here. Uh, sick, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into some, some new age laser discs, gotta love it, love to see it, love to see it. I uh, anticipated getting thirsty, so uh, little Liam, you're late. I just opened your amazing package, uh, thank you so much. Um, Right, you know, we'll uh, I'll go ahead and show it again. The Neo Turf Master soundtrack on cassette. Oh my God, this is just incredible. Thank you so 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 much. Uh, I really really got a kick out of this. This is uh, incredible and probably the best looking bootleg I've ever seen. I can't believe the LED printing. It's just fantastic. Uh, you all know that I love the music for Neo Turf Master. So um, yeah, you, you really uh, <laughs> you really made me smile there. Lilium, thank you so, so much. Uh, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hopefully this isn't too loud. I might actually turn it down just a little bit so you can hear my voice. Um, I am all decked out today. I got, uh, I brought my fucking uh, tea kettle in my room, so I'm going to be staying nice and cozy here and uh, sipping uh, non-caffeinated tea all night. Uh, and then as soon as the stream is over, I will get back to work on finishing the Patreon mixtape Curse Breaker Z, which is lullaby versions of Curse Breaker songs. You can play them for your, your baby to fall asleep. Um, but yeah, it's tea time, and we got Kataro on the laser disc, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up for a couple minutes. Uh, let's, let's enjoy this this wonderful laser disc. Yeah, cemetery moon glow for the babies, indeed. Indeed. Some of the tracks kind of have like a, um, uh, kind of a, like a Celtic or like a medieval feel to them. Um, I used a lot of uh, the like Roland SRX strings and uh, yeah, it's, I really like how it turned out. It's very soothing. Uh, Breeder Lancet, stoked to finally catch a stream. Huge fan, Chris Bricker X was the first vinyl I ever spun. Wow. And I'm excited to keep spinning your amazing jams. Thank you so much. <laughs> Z for Zonicus? Maybe. Um, I was more thinking along the lines of uh, what Molotovich posted. Uh, you know, Z is in your sleeping. Z, 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 Z. <laughs> it could be. Your version, uh, your version could be Curse Breaker Zonicus, though. <laughs> it's almost done. I'm working on the final mix. I'm using... Um, I'm using like uh, some some cool weather effects, you know, like wind and rain and uh, bonfire uh, sounds, and it's just kind of adding to the overall ambiance. It's very it's very empty sounding because I've removed like the bass and the the drums and stuff. So, um, what else do I have for you tonight after the Kitaro? Um I'm really hoping that this will work. It did not work earlier, but the uh, John Siri. Dazzle laser disc is really really cool and also I'm pretty sure this one's gonna work I have pretty good luck with this one but tears for fears tears roll down this is a music video collection of tears for fears love this band absolutely love this band and then uh, I don't need, I don't know if there's gonna be enough time uh, but this is kind of like uh, a filler here it's called natural selections and this is from Miramar Records. And uh, this, I think, is going to have a lot of overlap with what I played last week um, and the week before. I can already see here on the back that there's tracks from uh, The Mind's Eye and Beyond the Mind's Eye. Uh, but there's stuff, too, that's from other comps that I don't have, like Desert Vision, Watercolors, True North. Kronos, Natural States, and Music and Art. So this is kind of like a greatest hits CGI video collection from Miramar. 
Um, so this will, this might be pretty cool. Uh, I'll see what you get, what, what y'all are feeling after this uh, Kitaro jam. The Thomas Dolby Laser Disc last week was the coolest way I've spent an evening in forever loving this stream. Thank you, Rainy Cakes. This has been uh, also very, very uh, somewhat therapeutic and relaxing for me to spend my Friday nights doing this instead of uh, gaming. And I also, um, I'm also able to interact with y'all a little bit more. Uh, tech, tech mentioned that on like the first or second stream, since I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, invested in making sure I don't get killed in a video game, I can read the chat and uh, talk with y'all a little bit more. Uh, yeah, Super Penguino mirrors Rainy Cake's opinion. That's great. Um, Mort Hummet, this would make a very good slush wave sample. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that Telepath has sampled Kitaro at some point. Uh, NYC Reaching says rare item. Uh, yeah, you don't see these every day. This is an actual Japanese laser disc. This one has like a sick ass OB strip on it. That's actually like separate from the, the disc. Uh, here's the back if you want to see it. The Light of the Spirit. Pretty simple. A really cool graphic design. I just love how the, those obis are laid out. It's just like a small amount of text up in the corner, and then the rest of it is like relatively blank until you get to the technical information at the bottom. Great format. Great grab equip. Where did you find the disc? I got this at Reckless Records in Chicago when I worked there. Uh, the uh, employees are. They're still looking out for me. They know that I like this stuff. And they're always, uh, you know, they'll, I got called a couple weeks ago about those Computer Dreams compilations. And I had requested those, like, in 2016, and they finally came through. So, um, yeah, it's it's great. It's great. Potayots, I dig the Laserdisc streams. I dig you watching them. Thank you. Pog indeed. Pog indeed, Mort. Um... Teots. Ooh, I just got a Kirby Hancock record like that with the OB that goes over the spine. Yeah, I can't get enough OBs. Um, and I love OB so much that I've commissioned uh, Mark Yunker, a.k.a. R23X, a.k.a. VHS Stills, uh, a.k.a. Video 20XX, to make OBs for every equipped vinyl reissue that is slated to come out. Um, uh, end of this year, beginning of next year. So uh, please look forward to it. Uh, Super Penguino says, 80s Japanese graphic design is unmatched. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll have to agree with you there all the way. Uh, that is quite awesome of them, uh, for Teots. They're, uh, they're, it's a great shop. If you're ever in Chicago, I highly suggest checking out Reckless Records. MSS says the game music I always remember was Willow from the original NES. Uh, Negative Gemini, this is not a movie. This is a uh, a live disc. Uh, Kitaro, the Light of the Spirit. Actually, it's not live. I thought that it was live, but it looks like it's just going to be like nature footage uh, rolled in with uh, the music of Kitaro. Um, are my ears pierced now, or are the hoops clip-ons? Their clip-ons. Uh, I have a person that will pierce my ears safely, and it's a friend of mine, so I don't have to like go into a shop. And we've both been getting, you know, COVID tested pretty regularly, so I feel comfortable with letting her pierce my ears. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I just have to get some, uh, you know, some surgical stainless steel studs and set the date. But uh, I'm definitely gonna get it done, and uh, I'll be wearing all kinds of cool earrings after that. Uh, how's it going, Jacques and Tosh? Uh, it's, it's going great. The songs play after you hit the dab pen too hard. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought my dab rig over here. Do a dab, dab on stream. Uh, I just pre-ordered the new Gorillaz album for vinyl. Super stoked. Uh, I've never... Um, I was going to say I've never listened to the new Gorillaz album, uh, which is true, but I liked, uh, I liked Demon Days and I liked uh, the self-titled. I haven't listened to them in a while, though. Uh, EDJR Morpheus 95. Equip, how's it going? I love your outfit for Curse Breaker. Thanks, Mort. 
Cardiac Kid. Sound 2020 Pink Floyd. It does, uh, yeah, I would say that Kataro is a little bit Floydular for sure. I will have to agree with EDJR Morpheus95. I also think that body work is quite lit. Uh, thank you, Jamie. I was jamming it the other day. Nah, boys. Up, bub. It's up to yourself as well. Sega Octopus. Nice to see you as always. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Oh, ear piercing on stream, please. Is that against the uh, the Twitch TOS? I mean, there's like, isn't there going to be blood? I don't know. Can you show that? I know they banned, uh, or they, they temporarily banned Mega 64 for, uh, for puking on stream. So I don't know if I can get away with a live ear piercing. Chuck loves eggs. Oh, what is up? Egg music master, young Chuck. Hello, and cheers to you on this Friday night. I'm going to send you some swag this week, baby. Oh, my God. I'm looking forward to it, Chuck. Thank you. This reminds me of watching a super old PBS documentary. You know, I actually have... Um, I've got a couple more Laserdiscs. I thought they might be too boring to play on stream, but they're also by Miramar, and they're like nature... Um, nature shots. I mean, I thought that this might be like him on stage shredding or something, but it looks like it's just kind of uh, nature shots. So uh, maybe maybe I will play those. I can always go grab them out of the living room when there's like a little break in action or something. So yeah. Yeah, for those of you that just got here, we're watching laser discs tonight. Uh, this is part three of laser disc and chill with equip. We got... Uh, Kitaro, the light of the spirit, and this is a, uh, a Japanese import laser disc that I got at Reckless Records here in Chicago. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. Um, maybe it was actually given to me. I don't know. They don't they don't really do very well with laser discs, and they, they're so cheap that um, I've gotten many discs from them for free. You know, I used to work there, and somebody traded in like a thousand laser discs. Uh, including a, a massive collection of 90s uh, 90s porn, so that's that's the bulk of my collection actually is uh, uh, 90s adult films. Um, and I was actually gonna uh, thinking about doing a Patreon mixtape with the music from those because it basically sounds like vaporwave. Uh, it's like the kind of stuff that like early telepath probably sampled more like along the lines of like Weather Channel, uh, but kind of funky stuff. So. Um, now that I have the laser displayer hooked up to the stream cart, I can start uh, ripping them. Um, if I could get away with streaming the porn, I would. But uh, that is definitely against Twitch's terms of service, so I'm not going to try it. <laughs> uh, Chuck, uh, used to listen to Silk Road Volume 1 all the time. Yeah, I've got that one on cassette. It's got a... Uh, the whole series is really cool. Oh, Steven, uh, thank you. Those ears look real. Thank you, thank you. Pete Bartell, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you, as always. NYC reaching. Hell yeah, indeed. Agro Craggle. Hell yeah. Oh, Lust. Yeah, you know it. Naming the track from the uh, Mega CD wave. I've got it right here, actually. i show it off. So these will finally be making their way to you lovely patrons of Equipped Picks. Um, I'm guessing on, I should have time to send them on October 10th. I think my sticker sheets arrive on October 9th. So I will mail out the three pack of uh, DJ Prom Night Plays the Requests. Beautiful pink tape. This is all patron requests. Original, uh, original concept of uh, DJ Prom Night taken to the next level. Um, it's slush wave essentially. This is a uh, two hour long cassette. Each side is 55 minutes. I guess it's almost two hours long. Uh, Mega CD Wave, which is my late night lo fi album made of uh, strictly Sega CD uh, hidden gems. Um, no Sonic music or anything like that, but like weird Japanese life simulation games and, uh, you know, racing sims and stuff. And uh, of course, the uh, Equip Side Quests B Sides compilation. So yeah, these will uh, these will be shipping to you all soon. Thanks so much for your patience. Uh, very very happy to um, to be able to continue making these monthly mixtapes. Um, so yeah, equips picks, 
Patreon. Equip Pick Season 1 will end after December, and I might take a little break, but I will activate the Bandcamp fan account at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to stop saying that it's going to be up next month because it won't be. I'm going to need some time to make that video, and I'm thinking that that would just be a good time at the beginning of the year to do it. But uh, if you're curious, here's the entire uh, discography of Equip's picks so far. Look at all that shit. I've been staying busy as hell this year. That's an album a month, baby. 2020, let's get it. 12 albums this year. Can't, can't believe it. Can't believe it. Super Penguino, I just bought my first cassette today. Congratulations. Uh, what, what tape was it? I'm curious to know. Uh, more Hamed, I'm going to have to sub. Yeah, you know, the digital tier is only five bucks. When I do the band camp, it's going to be going up to seven. So you can get in now for five bucks. And I've, I've changed my mind on keeping the, the mixes month exclusive. I have a mirror up. Uh, you can listen to all the previous mixes. I'm not trying to keep that to myself too much. So um, I feed chickens. Your boy has returned. How you doing? Equip. Uh, I'm doing great. I feed chickens. Uh, how are you? Um... Uh, Molotovich, those are so amazing. Oh my god. You're so amazing. You're, uh, uh what's Keanu say? You're, you're stunning. You're thrilling. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Thank you for adding the permitted term, picks. I showed you my equips picks. Please respond. Well, the tapes become available for lower tiers like me. Uh, Eugenio, yes. Um, I'm selling them now to the patrons. Uh, for 20 bucks, but if you want to wait until I launch the band camp, I'm gonna do the tapes for a little bit lower on the band camp uh, I'm thinking that an appropriate price for the tapes will be $15 on the band camp uh, But if you want them while they're hot, you know send me a DM on um, uh, Whatchamacallit discord and then we can talk some stuff over because I, I have sold some of the tapes to the lower tiers uh, If you just make up the difference um, Also too if you want to wait and do like a bundle, you know and save on shipping uh, that's always available, too. Uh, so, yeah, you know, some of you might want to wait until uh, January 2021 and join the Bandcamp fan club. Um, you know, some of you just want it while it's hot and want to get all that shit first. So uh, they are personalized. You know, I, I write your name in the little window here on the bottom. Oops. Uh, and then I date it. So, you know, if you got the early dates, you're an OG. If you got the later dates, then you slept, but you woke up eventually. So, thank you. And uh, I think it's time for another cup of tea. Can we get an Equip 6 exclusive vinyl? Uh, I would love to do that, but the considering I only have, like, 40, I think, or 30 people that subscribe to the physical tier, I don't think I could justify the expense. Uh, selling it just within Equips Picks. However, I have talked with George Clanton of 100% Electronica, and um, you know, I put a one year exclusivity on all these mixes. So they're exclusive to the Patreon and the Bandcamp for a year, and some of them will be exclusive forever. Uh, but there are certain releases that I feel should see a wider audience, like uh, Equip 64 um, and Equip Side Quests. And I've talked to George about doing vinyl versions of these on 100% Electronica. I think it would be a shame not to. So it'll it'll take a little bit of time, but they will uh, be out eventually. If you need a reminder, here's Equip, six, here's Equip 64 artwork by uh, Drew Wise. Um, looks like an N64 case. Tape is like, uh, you know, cool gold. Looks like that uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Got the, the safety and precautions label on the back. Equips picks number four, equip uh, 64. Um, yeah, I definitely sub him. Thanks, Mort. Uh, you're very welcome, Molotovich. Side quest vinyl would be very cool. It's uh, it's a bit on the long side. I think it's 64 minutes total, 32 minutes a side. So it might be too much for one vinyl. It might have to be a double. Or what I was thinking is maybe a three-sided vinyl, and then the fourth side is either blank or there's like a cool etching or something on it. 
How did George contact you to join the 100% gang? Um, you know what? He sent me a message on um, on Twitter.com. He really, really liked I Dream of a Palace in the Sky. And, uh, you know, he said, um, hey, I really like your album. If you have anything in the future that you want to send to the label, I'm all ears. So uh, I had already submitted Synthetic Core 88 to Yeti at that point. So I was like, okay, I'll do my next album with, with 100%. So that was uh, how that got started. And then, uh, of course, you know, we did the, the Palace in the Sky reissue, and that was uh, that was the first equipped product on 100p, uh, first of many. So, um, Brick Dinosaur Jimmy, welcome. Uh, you should try Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Tea. It's seasonal and amazing. I will. You know what? I haven't been to Trader Joe's lately because the one near me is quite a small store. And uh, every time I ride my bike to go there, there is a crazy ass line zigzagging out in the parking lot and like I like Trader Joe's but I don't like it enough to like wait in line in a parking lot to get in it's too much for me uh, so yeah I always just end up going to the Whole Foods down the street uh, what do I got tonight though I got uh, I got Tezo uh, Tezo Passion and this is a plunge into a paradise of hibiscus orange peel rose hips and passion fruit flavors I swear to God, I'm going to be in trouble if I spill this on my carpet. It's like deep red, blood red. Very carefully. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of tea ASMR in here. Gotta get that gooseneck kettle. It's essential. Yeah. How cozy is this? Oh my gosh. Just the best. Uh, Bryce Mice, this track slaps. Hell yeah. Uh, Eugenio says, ever since Bullet Heaven came out, I've been going deep on Battle Garega. That is a hard-ass game. Uh, Pat Channington, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, you know, I got these glasses on eBay.com, and uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll send you the link. I'll try to look through my uh, through my purchase history, and I'll I'll hook you up. I bet they look good on you, buddy. Yeah, EDJR Morpheus, um, I definitely want to bring them to Spotify. Uh, you know, once the one-year exclusivity is up, uh, it will be uh, available for all. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm just going to keep the equip stuff like uh, available like that. Some of the sample-based stuff, um, maybe the DJ Prom Night, I'm, I'm not sure if I can put that on Spotify. The Perfect Kiss, I think the samples are obscure enough, but like DJ Prom Night plays requests, you know, like I've got like some major major samples on there that I'm not sure um, if I could get away with so who knows but uh, yeah yeah DJ Prom Night plays the request fresh pink pink on pink so cool comes with a holographic sticker too uh, evening welcome Fighting Island welcome welcome always good to have you here PJ Yeah, Agro Crackle, you're right. I would love to see this music available to the wider world after the exclusivity wears off. I like that exclusive now, but the people need to hear it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I work really hard on this stuff. I'm basically constantly working on the Patreon mixtapes, and it, uh, it, I mean, like, only, like, 60 people hear it, so it's like I'm, I'm putting a lot of effort into, I mean, it's cool that it's, like, a secret club, but, uh, but yeah, only like 60 people are able to hear these these albums that I'm doing. So, yeah. Uh, that's so cool. George is a fun, genuine person. Indeed, Molotovich. Uh, it sounds awesome. Palace in the Sky is astounding. You know, I feed chickens. You'd probably like side quests if you like Palace because a lot of the B-sides are uh, from the Palace era. And uh, they're kind of strung together like Palace with like sound effects and like footsteps and... Uh, doors opening and stuff like that uh it's uh, essentially an audio rpg uh boy that's the song yeah these the kitaro is a real emotional jammer he once he gets going he's yeah agro crackle the music got so epic <laughs> maybe 
maybe I should try singing. 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 It's like a knockoff Great Gig in the Sky. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yo, equip. If you ever go to Seattle, you gotta go to the pizza place, Alfie's. Um, where did I go when I was in Seattle? I played. Um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the venue I played. We did two nights with Magic Sword in December, and I went to a pizza place nearby. Uh, gosh. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, yo, uh, long live Vaporwave. Indeed, Jockintosh. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Dang, I'm hella cozed now. Hell yeah. Hoiteats. It is a cozy Friday evening. Little Liam, I need to bring my Japanese Twin Peaks laser discs over to your place. Yes, you do. I would love to watch Twin Peaks in Japanese. Um, I am mid season three right now in my rewatch campaign that I started. Uh, I think I started it last month or maybe the month before, but. Um, I did I did I did them all in chronological order so I did fire walk with me season one season two and then I read Mark Frost's book uh, the secret history of Twin Peaks which kind of helps bridge season two and three and gives it uh, season one into a backstory and uh, now I'm mid season three and then after I finish season three I'm gonna go to uh, the final dossier which is uh, Mark Frost's latest book so I'm very excited to read that uh, the rewatch of season three is going great. There's all kinds of stuff in there that I missed the first time around. I love it. Mmm, damn fine tea. Damn fine tea. I maybe let it steep for about a minute too long, but uh, it's, it's quite fine with me. I like that deep flavor. Uh, Fighting Island says that tea is pretty good. Reminds me of a warm uh, Jamaica Agua Fresca. Oh yeah, I love me a good Agua Fresca. Hell yeah. Uh, Bruza Cod Good, welcome. Uh, cheers is, cheers to you too. Uh, Coz to AF says Super Penguino. Yes, yes. Um, Tenocho Warlord, that tea must smell divine. It does smell quite good. Uh, my, my room is just so fresh right now. I repainted the whole thing um, about a week ago. Um, I've got all kinds of plants in here now, and um, I'm burning um, a really nice scented candle, Purple Kush from Boy Smells. Uh, so yeah, the room is just a, a menagerie of good smells. I, I love it, I love it. Molo 360, nice of you to join. Hi as well. <laughs> Actually, you looking like the log lady right now. Hell yeah. So, cl clutching my clutching my Bonavita kettle instead of the log. My kettle has something to tell you. The tea bags are not what they seem. Lucid Dreamer, any new tapes coming soon? Uh, if you are in the Equips Picks Patreon fan club, you will find that I release a tape every month. Look at that stack of stuff you've never heard. I mean, I guess minus new guy, you've probably heard that. But, uh, you know, we got uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And I am just finishing up September's mix. I'm, a, uh, you know, two days late now, but um, better late than never. Uh, it'll be done and distributed tonight and uh, the tapes will be ordered fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, you can either join uh, patreon.com slash uh, um, world of equip or wait until January, 2021, where I will be launching the Bandcamp fan club subscription, which will be um, basically just access to what I've already released on the Patreon uh, with the extra tapes for sale. Um, after season one of Equip's picks is completed, I'm gonna give myself a little break for a while to work on uh, equip LP4. I've already kind of started playing around with some ideas. It's sounding really good, uh, but I need a break from making these monthly mixtapes. They're really, uh, really burning my uh, my creative oils um, 
not in a bad way. I'm, I'm learning a lot of good things, but I need some more time to dedicate to just equip. So I'm going to take a tiny break at the beginning of the year, uh, launch the Bandcamp thing, and then uh, uh, start coming out with some more mixes, you know, as I see appropriate. So um, what else we got here? Uh, Toucan3, I'm new to the stream, dude. Would you recommend Chrono Trigger? Do you ever do playthroughs of it? I'm about to buy it on Android. You know what? Chrono Trigger is probably one of my top five games of all time. It's a work of art, a masterpiece, probably the best JRPG um, I've ever played, so I highly recommend it. I've never played the Android version, but I know that Square Enix has trouble with their ports. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure about that one, honestly. I can't, I can't recommend that version because I've never tried it. But you can, um, uh, it's available on like the PlayStation Store. I know you can get that, which is like a port of the PS1 Final Fantasy Chronicles version, uh, which is the version that I beat originally. It, it's great. Um, I do have a, uh, I do have a, a Super Nintendo copy, an original copy that I love and cherish, and uh, I have the DS version as well, which is. Um, supposed to be the definitive version. It's got all the cutscenes from the PlayStation version and uh, some additional content that's not in any other version. But yes, I highly recommend Chrono Trigger. 8RB1, I love DJ Prom Night. DJ Prom Night loves you, buddy. What's up, what's up, Molo? P. Bartel, Molo, aesthetic Molo. Uh, hello, Pat Shennington, says Jack and Tosh. Uh, equip, have you heard any Vaporwave Essential albums? Uh, do you mean like, um, Vaporwave Essential albums? Is that like a compilation series, or are you just talking about like Essential albums that I could, you know, like Macintosh Plus or Computer Dreams or something like that? Uh, yes, I've heard plenty of, of Essential Vaporwave albums, but I'm not sure if that's like a, a certain series that you're referring to or what. Amazing vocals, Equip, thank you so much, Bort. Oh shit, that was hot, thank you, Bruza. God, God. Uh, the Magic Sword Tour was quite sick. I also want to go back Agro Crackle. How do I travel back in time? Uh, Nick Dixon asks, what are we watching? That's a great question. Uh, this is a laser disc of Kitaro, the light of the spirit. And uh, yeah, this is a, a Japanese import laser disc. It's got a cool ass OB strip. And uh, yeah, Kitaro is just, you know, one of those 80s new age synth dudes. Um, Japanese guy, really sick shit. Um, we can switch over to something else if this is too boring. I don't know. Uh, fire off in the comments if you want to see something else. Cause I got, I got some other fire. I got some other heaters tonight. We got this natural selections. This is another CGI compilation. Um, this does have some overlap with what I played last week and the week before, but I'd say about 70% of it is going to be new content. Um, uh, this Dazzle disc, I couldn't get this to work earlier. This one I actually had problems with, like, right out of the shrink. I think it's got laser rot, which can happen to the laser discs. It's just, it's a temporary ephemeral format. Um, and then I also got this Tears for Fears uh, video collection, which I'm really excited to play. I love those. Love Tears for Fears. Um... I gotta find an Akira laser disc. Yes, uh, you and me both, Mort. I've been looking for the uh, Akira Criterion Collection disc, and it seems to be getting more expensive. So, um, Bryce Mice, season three is so good. Yeah, I have the uh, the unpopular opinion that Twin Peaks season three is better than one and two. I think it's amazing, incredible work of art. Maybe David Lynch's finest work to date. Bold claim, but goddamn, it is so good. Damn fine show. That seagull is aggressive. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I've been watching the chat. Uh, Sex on Man, more dope laser disc. Uh, Mort loves chamomile. I love chamomile too. Uh, that was what I had right before um, this uh, Tazo passion. I had a nice, nice cup of chamomile. I like to have that before bed too. Uh, Nathan, the prophecy kettle has spoken. If you really die hard, you can wait around the 100%. If you're really die hard, you can wait around the 100% garage cam until you might randomly catch an Equips Picks song in there. Yeah, I do give George all of the Equips Picks tracks to load into the uh, garage cam, which has actually gotten me a couple um, P 
patrons that way because people just have it on and they're like, what is this track? I love this. And then they end up uh, end up joining the Patreon. So, um, hell yeah, new tape tonight. You bet. Get ready for it. Get excited for it. More, I got to send you some of my fan artwork. Yeah, feel free. Shoot me an email. Um, or, you know, send to my... I haven't been uh, on social media at all this month. Um, I had a, a bit of misfortune earlier this month. Um, my grandma passed away, and it was really, really sad. And I just, like, was sitting there and thinking about how sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time when I'm on social media and how I kind of don't want to waste any more time. So, yeah, kind of a grim way to put it, but uh, I'm basically going to only log on to social media when I have something to say or something to announce or, you know, like a product uh, to sell. So I'm kind of changing my whole life around um, to focus on more positivity and things that bring me joy. And I, I'm trying to live every day like it's my last. And I, it sounds cheesy, but I say this in the most genuine way possible, that life is short and at any moment that could be it. So um, I encourage everyone else to do the same. Uh, yo, RGB Rose fam. I had my uh, RGB Rose hat on earlier. Uh, I lost it for the stream though. Uh, Mort just started playing RuneScape a couple weeks ago. I've never played that game. Uh, yo, what's up, and Rayleigh? I wish I had time to get back into RuneScape. I've never played uh, RuneScape at all, but I've, I've heard that the music is very good. Uh, wow, that's nice, man. Your tracks are insane. Can't wait to hear a new Equip LP. Cursebreaker X is top tier. Thank you so much, Lucid Dreamer. The next one is going to be uh, very clean and pure. I'm very excited. Sega Octopus with the $50 donation. Holy crap. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Uh, holy shit. That is incredible. Wow. Sega Octopus. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. That's incredible. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sitting right next to my stadium events and Nintendo World Championship gold card. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> WW Phone, howdy, howdy. Um, more Hummet. I just watched the Floral Shop visual album and it was amazing. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, the OB is very, very nice. George Clinton, Natural Selections. Is that a, uh, a fan club exclusive thing? I'm kind of out of the loop there. Steffi Starshine, I still regret not picking up the Akira video CD. I have a special edition double VHS and two different DVD editions. Uh, Akira VCD would be sick. Um, you know, next week I was thinking about hooking up the Philips CDI, and I, I do have a uh, the VCD expansion slot for it, so I can, I can play VCDs on it. And it's PAL region, too. Um, I actually got it from a friend in the Netherlands, uh, Poe Ribbon. Uh, excellent graphic designer and... Uh, uh, runs the label BLCR Laboratories. Um, I have a PAL GameCube and a PAL uh, Philips CDI that I got from Pope. Uh, so yeah, 50 hertz for life. Uh, the Akiva manga is amazing. I've heard that it's amazing. Uh, 8RB1, join and picks clips, uh, equips picks four to the garage stream. That's excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Vectroid Macintosh Plus brought me into Vaporwave, says Jockintosh. Um, yeah, I think that uh, they were kind of the, the next stepping stone. I got into Computer Dreams and uh, Chuck Persons, I think, before I got into uh, Macintosh Plus. But yeah, I, uh, that also kind of helped me get into the, the Vaporwave realm. Uh, you go, Kevin. Thank you, Molo. Thank you, thank you. Always appreciate your optimism. Uh, Wolfbite, I am trying to follow that path, too. Every day is priceless. Damn, I hope for the best for you and deepest regards for your grandma. I hope you feel better, man. You know what, Mort? I am feeling a lot better since I started kind of taking the positive steps to, like, redo my life. You know, I was looking around. My room is a dark color. I just had a lot of clutter around, and, like, it felt so good to, like, clear everything out of my room and, like, repaint to a, a lighter color and get some plants in here. And, uh, yeah, I am really just, just living. I'm spending all of my days doing things that I enjoy, um, not wasting any time. Uh, I am doing a lot better. Thank you, thank you for your uh, your well wishes. Um, yeah, big up Sega indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, Molotovich, Molo, mirror that sentiment. Yes, yes. 
Uh, Lucid Dreamer, would you ever play Resident Evil 4 live? Yeah, I would consider that, because I'm actually playing through the Resident Evil sequentially. I played 0, 1, and 2 earlier when the pandemic struck, and I'm halfway through Resident Evil 3, and I was thinking about finishing that on stream, and then doing the PC version of Resident Evil 4. I'm playing uh, 2 and 3 on uh, Dreamcast. Um, IP Chickens, how do I donate? You know, there's a big button underneath the video uh, that says uh, donate to equip. Uh, it should be in the description. Um, Shockintosh compilation and stuffs. I have heard of them a lot. Likewise, they're really great demos to be liking vaporwave genre. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, Secret Selections is the fan club album. Um, so what? what's Natural Selections? Is that what you said earlier? Um... <laughs> Broken upbeat, do you collect pogs? No, I don't. I used to have a nice collection in the 90s, but uh don't know what happened to them. Maybe garage sale. Uh Mort says, I wish I could get the secret selections vinyl before it sold out. Um Yeah, I, I don't have one of those either. I'm gonna have to bug George to repress it. Uh what is your favorite slammer? That's a pog thing, right? The pog slammers? How many picks would Equipped Picks pick is Equipped Picks could pick picks? Uh, one, <laughs> one a month is enough for me, I grow. Uh, vinyl would make a decent slammer if you stack them. Yeah, you could use your vinyl collection as pogs. Uh, S-Drone, what's up, Droner? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I've been off the socials, so I haven't caught up with you in a bit. How are you? I'm going through the same thing right now. I just deleted Facebook and Instagram. Oh, well, that explains it. Uh, from my phone for a bit. I'm sad that I'm always busy whenever you're streaming, but I just wanted to pop in for a minute and show some love and say I'm always happy to keep supporting you, man. Thank you so much, uh, Droner. I'm always happy uh, for your support. And, um, you know, I, I've always loved your little Instagram videos. Uh, you're a very talented musician, and I love uh, especially the piano ones that you do. Uh, always very calming and tranquil so thanks for popping in uh mr drone uh glad to hear it quick we love you my friend love you Tom. love you too molotovich love you tolotovich was what i was about to say <laughs> um farside virtual is one of my favorite albums from the og days brace mice that one uh got me too i that one uh is a it just a lot of ferraro's early work um, it's very lo-fi and kind of uh, what you might call proto-vaporwave, kind of on the end of the, like, uh, hypnagogic pop era. And, uh, yeah, I could not believe Farside Virtual when that came out. I was just like, holy crap. This is, like, the music that's always playing in my head. Um, Equip, you got me into Mother 3. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, Mort. Um, <laughs> T-Sip Lean. I feed chickens! 20 bucks! Thank you so much. Keep it up, man. Much love. Thank you. Thank you so much, I Feed Chickens. Much appreciated. Uh, I just paid my rent today, so y'all are helping uh, soften the blow quite a bit. Um, I'm actually going to put all the donations in a fund so that I can buy a car. Believe it or not, I am over 30 years old, and I've never owned a vehicle. Uh, I ride my bike around town, and I swore that this was the last Chicago winter that I will have to ride my bike to the grocery store or uh, order order grocery delivery. You know, I, I gotta get out of here this winter. I gotta go on some road trips. So it's about time for a set of wheels. So all of your uh, donations will be going towards my car fund. And uh, when I get it, you know, maybe I'll do a sick, you know, drive around with a quip stream if I can get good enough reception on my phone. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank you so much, uh, Sega Octopus and IP Chickens for the generous donations. I can't believe it. Um, Y'all are keeping me going. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you both. <laughs> Y'all are talking about some drugs, huh? Do you sip lean? Do you pop Zans? I don't do any of that stuff. Uh, I smoke the I smoke the pipe. I do the dab rips, and that's about it right now. Uh, Microdose and psilocybin mushrooms. Um, every now and then, I was doing it pretty frequently at the beginning of the summer. I find that my tolerance has gotten off the roof, so I'm just kind of doing them uh, very intermittently. But uh, I, I, uh, it, it's been very good for my mental health, uh, I'll just say that. It's very small amounts, I'm not tripping. Uh, I'm taking very, very small amounts, you know, ten tenth of a gram, fraction of a gram, uh, every now and then. Um, 
Mort is smart and uh, has been sober for a year. Yeah, I, uh, I have stopped drinking for a while. I'm going to um, lay out the booze until I don't know when. I, I'm feeling pretty good not drinking, so uh, yeah, maybe later, but not right now. It's uh, I've been in a very good headspace and I don't want to ruin it. I miss Kid Picks 3D. Uh, Miss Kid Pick Studio. I never played with those. Echo Jams is a classic. I agree, Mort. Um, I do have a license. Uh, I got my license, you know, when I was uh, 16. Got my learner's permit at 15. Um, I do need to... to it, it is expired. And they lost my replacement in the mail, so I need to go back to the DMV. That's going to be real fun. Um... You look like the dude that plays drums from Lightning Bolt. I'm gonna have to Google that. Let's see, uh... Nagy Jamie says, nice. Yeah, I wanna visit y'all and uh, in LA to get out of the winter for like a good week. Um, I won't have to crash on your couch the whole time, hopefully. Uh, I've got a couple other friends in LA that I wanna visit. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna get out of Chicago when, uh, it gets really fucking cold in January, February. I'm all for it until like the end of December. I like the snow. I, I like the I like the winter, the Christmas feel. But like, you know what? When it's like February and you're like stepping in pools of slush and the wind is just like blowing through the cracks in your windows, it's unpleasant. It fucking sucks when it gets into the negatives. Yeah. Uh, good for you. It's good to be clean and sober. I agree. No one drives in Chicago. There's too much traffic. You know, uh, it hasn't been too bad, WW Phone. And I used to drive a, uh, I used to drive a Dodge Promaster around for my old job. And uh, it, I know the good times to be on the road and the good times to be off the road. Uh, you know, from like, like 3:30 to like 6:30, it's just hell. You don't want to get on 90. You don't want to be driving. Uh, same thing in the morning. You know, from like like 7 a.m. to like 10 even, it just sucks. So, you know, you really want to just be out uh, noon and then after seven. Those are the good times to, to run your errands and go grocery shopping. Maggie Jimmy asked what kind of car. I'm not sure, something to tide me over till my uh, Cybertruck pre-order is ready, uh, right? You guys uh, pre-ordered one of those too, I think. Um, yeah, something, something to tide me over till then. Probably something, um, more recent, you know, reliable. I'm not looking to get fancy here. I just need, I just need some wheels. Something that'll last me a good road trip across the country. Um, little Liam, I'm going to Yosemite for five days next week. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm excited for you. That sounds really cool. I've never been to Yosemite. Um, but yeah, that sounds great. That sounds very picturesque. So this is it for this disc. I'm kind of thinking we, we do the Tears for Fears disc. This one, um, this one's pretty tight. So yeah, let's let's pop it in. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to Big View here, and hope that this works right away. Sounds like Final Fantasy here. Yeah, the Kataro stuff does have that kind of like. Uh, I know there's a lot of Celtic influence in both uh, Nobu Yamatsu's work and in Kataro's work. So. Uh, yeah, a bit like Celtic New Age ambient. Um, I feed chickens. Love you, man. Huge inspiration to my own projects. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Rainy Cakes. Well, if you end up in upstate New York, then you can come stay with Molotovich and then uh, with me and hit that pipe, yo. Open invitation. I, uh, I'll let you know if I, uh, when it's safe to tour again, if I ever end up back in upstate New York, I'd love to to hang out with y'all after a show or something, go get a slice of pizza or something. Um, just took a massive bong rip. Hell yeah, Bruce of Cod God. Uh, it is completely legal here in Chicago, so I'm happy. Uh, for those of you who have never seen a laser disc before, it's basically a big ass CD, uh, but it's analog. So um, a laser reads these tiny little pits in the surface um, they're actually they're 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 grooves, not pits, uh, but it, it's it's analog. It's laser, but it's analog. I uh, don't know how that works, but uh, it does. So, all right, let's hope that my Tears for Fears disc works, please, baby, please, please, please. Uh, fake JRPG OST. 
god, microdoses. Yes, uh, I agree, Apex Shinobi. Uh, the song is quite beautiful, and really all of Kitaro's stuff is... Uh, it kind of borders on the, like, um, the cheese side a little bit, but I, I think it's it's all pretty genuine. So let's see what we got here. Program material is recorded only on the other side of this laser vision disc. Okay, well, it works, but it's a one-sided disc, so we gotta flip it over. Um, hell yeah, I ate a bunch of gummies earlier and I've been hitting the dad pen. Keep up the good work. I can't deal with those gummies, man. They are, uh, they just take me by surprise and I always forget that I've eaten them and then like, I, I'm like, why am I feeling all slow and weird? I'm like, oh yeah, it's probably because I'm way too high. Um, I find it harder to measure the dosage too. You can hear this thing really clicking on my mic. That's the sound that it makes when it's not gonna work, so cross your fingers that it, it does work. Oh my god. Please work. This sounds like Top Gun. It's been super nice. Ew, the DMV. I got a lot of chat to catch up on. Sega Octopus has got to go to the DMV too. God, it sucks. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get one of those uh, real IDs. Um, instead of just getting another driver's license because then I can kind of combine my uh, passport and my um, whatchamacallit driver's license and then I don't have to like carry around two things if I travel uh, oh yes there it goes sick alright I hope everyone likes Tears for Fears as much as I do uh, Telepath is great D 